Hello everyone, I welcome you to today's class. Our topic today will be on the sum of arithmetic progression. Now in the previous class, we have dealt with the sum of GP, AP and GP. Now today, the question will be centered on the sum of arithmetic progression, okay? Now on the board, we have a question. Follow me as I solve it, okay? Now, to calculate the sum of arithmetic progression, we have a formula to use. The sum of arithmetic progression is given as n divided by 2 multiplied by 2 times first term plus n minus 1 multiplied by common difference, bracket close. Now, sometimes you can use this formula. Sum of arithmetic progression can also be n divided by 2 multiplied by a plus last term. Depending on what you're given. If you're given last term and you're given the first term and the number of terms and you have to find the sum of arithmetic progression, then you can use the second formula. But if you're given the common difference, you're given the number of terms, you're given the first term, then you use the first formula, okay? So these are the two formulas that you can use to calculate the sum of arithmetic progression. Okay, now on the board, let's see the formula we use. Okay, now solution. How do we solve this? Now what are we given? In the question, we are given the first term. I like to start from what I'm given, so I know what I'm asked to find. Okay, if you don't know where to start from, if you don't know what you're giving, you, you won't know where to start from, okay? Now, given, we're given the first term to be, to be 1. We're given our last term to be 121. And we're given the sum of the terms. Sum of the terms to be what? 5, 4, 9. Okay? Now, this is what I'm giving. All right? Now, if from this question now, do I know the common difference? Am I given the common difference? No. No, for this first formula, you need to know A, you need to know number of terms, and you need to know common difference. These are the three things you need to know to solve the sum of, the, these are the parameters, and the sum of AP. So out of these four, what are you giving? I know this one. This one I know. Okay, I know A. Do I know the common difference? No. Do I know the number of terms? No. These are the two things I'm asked to find. Since I'm having two unknown, so I can't use the first formula. Let's go to the second one. For the second one, you need the sum of terms. You need the number of terms. You need the first term. And you need the last term. In this question, do you know the last term? Yes. Do you know the first term? Yes. Do you know the sum of terms? Yes. So I can find the number of terms. So I can use the second formula. All right? Do you understand? Now we can go. Okay. Now since I know the formula to use, the sum, the sum of AP equals to N divided by 2 into bracket A plus last term, first term plus last term. So what is the sum of the terms? 5, 4, 9. Just substitute. Just substitute in your answer. 5, 4, 9 equals to my hand, which I don't know, the number of terms, which I don't know, divided by 2 into bracket. Your first term is 1 and your last term is plus 121. Okay? Bracket close. Can I proceed? Okay. Now, 5, 4, 9. 5, 4, 9. Equals to n divided by 2, n divided by 2, multiplied by 1 plus 121 will be 122. Okay? Now, from this, 2 year 1, 2 year 61. Okay? Then we have my 5, 4, 9 to be equals to 61. n times 61 will be 61n. Okay? Now, from this, uh, what did I do? You divide, you divide both sides, both sides 
by 61. If you divide both sides by 61, you want to make n the subject of the formula. Therefore, your head will be equals to 549 divided by 61. And this should be 1. Is that, is that 15? Let's check. 549 divided by 61. 549 divided by 61 will give us 9. That will be 9. Our answer, our number of times will be what? 9. Okay? Now we've gotten that. The next thing we need to do is to find, we have to find our common difference. To find our common difference, we know from, from our last class, from our previous class rather, we're given the number, the the hand term of a sequence, the hand term of a sequence is given as a plus n minus 1 multiplied by common difference. Either the, either the nth term of the sequence is the first, the second, the third, or even the last. In this condition, the n term, our hand term, is the last term. So I can say my last term is equivalent to a plus a plus n minus 1 times common difference. Do you understand? Perfect. Are you following the class? That's nice. Okay, now, if you substitute in your answer, this is for the second question. Now, we know the last time. The last time is what? We're given the last time to be 121. Okay, that shows that my 121 equals to what is my first time? My first time is given to be 1. That is 1 plus my number of times is 9. That will be into bracket 9 minus 1, then multiply by common difference. So my 121 equals to 1 plus 9 minus 1 will be 8. That will be 8 times common difference. Don't worry, in our coming class, we're going to deal with the order of operations in mathematics. How do you follow the orders? How do I know that I need to open the bracket before I had this one? Don't worry, in, that will be our next topic, okay? Now, what do I need to do? You subtract one from both sides. If you subtract, if you subtract one from both sides, if you subtract one from both sides, or you bring this one to this place, it becomes minus. Okay, out of, out of the two. So it will be one, two, one, minus one, equals to 8D. One, two, one, minus one will give us 120. That's 120 equals to 8D. If you divide both sides, if you divide both sides, divide, if you divide both sides by 8, divide this one by 8, divide this one by 8, okay? Then automatically, automatically, that will be 120 divided by 8 equals to your, co your common difference. So 120 divided by 8, your common difference will now be equals to 120 divided by 8 will give us 15. Okay, therefore, your common difference equals to 15 and um, what is your number of and your n equals to what? 9. Do you see? Okay, this is how to solve the sum of an arithmetic progression. Someone is saying, how do I know if I need to use the first formula? I think we need to do one example on the first formula. Do you want us to do one example? Okay, that's good. All right, I'll clean the board. So I will write a question on the first formula, on this formula. And let's see if we know how to solve that one. Okay. Let me clean the board. All right. All right. Can you pass my notes so that I can write the question on the board? All right. Let's see. Okay. I have. All right. I have this question. All right. Let me write the question on the board. Now we are told that the sum number two, question number two, we are told that the, the first. The first term, the first term of an happy, 
the first term of an AP is 7. And the fourth term and the fourth term is 32. Then we have to find, find the sum of its 16th terms. Okay? Now, from this question, okay, let, can I drop my notes so that I'll be able to concentrate? Okay, from this question, what are we giving? If you know what you're giving, you know the formula to use, okay? Now, solution. Then we are given the first term to be seven. The first term is given to be seven. We're given the fourth term, the fourth term that is, sorry, the fourth term to be equals to 32. And we're asked to find the sum of, we have to find the sum of the 16 term. That is what we have to find. Okay, now, if you check this question, do you know the last term? No. The first term is what is given to be 32, not the last term. Then we know the first term. We have to find the 16th term. Now, since we have to find the 16th term, that shows that our hen will be 16. Do you understand? Because the hen here is now 16. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, but we don't know the last term. That shows we can use, we can use sum of n term is n divided by 2 into bracket a plus last term. We can't use this because this 32 is not the last term, it's the fourth term, the value of the fourth term, okay? So we can use this because we don't know the last term. That shows we have to use the second formula, okay? Now, why well, don't know the common difference? From this one, since I know the first term, from this one, I can use to calculate my common difference since I know the first term. Don't forget, the hand term of an AP is giving us A plus n minus 1 multiplied by common difference. Now, if I want to, since I'm given the fourth term, that is u4, since I'm given the fourth term, that's just my hand here will not be 4. Are you getting that? So my fourth term is given to be 32. That will be equal to, if I substitute my a into this value, we have our a is what? 7. So I have 7 plus. So my hand is now 4 because it's the fourth term. That will be 4 minus 1 multiplied by common difference. Are you following? Perfect. Now, 32 is now equivalent to 7 plus 4 minus 1 is what? That is 3 multiplied by common difference. If you subtract 7 from both sides, if you subtract, subtract 7 from both sides, from both sides, what do you have? You have 32, you have 32 minus 7 equals to 3D. Okay? 32 minus 7 will be 25. And that is equals to 3D. If you divide both sides by 3, divide both sides of the equation by 3. Automatically, you will get a common difference to be equals to 25. Over 3. I don't think anything can go in this. Can 3 go in 25? No. The factor is only 5. Okay? Let's leave it like that. Now, that we are not asked to find the common difference. We are asked to find the sum of the 16th term. Don't forget the sum of an n term is given as n divided by 2 into bracket 2 times first term plus n minus 1 times common difference. Okay? Now, in this formula, I know the sum, I, I'm asked to find the sum of the 16th term. I know the, the number of terms. I know the first term. I, I know, excuse me, I know the number of terms. I know the common difference. That shows I can go for that. Now, the sum of 16 terms, that shows my hand has changed to 16. Okay? Have you seen it now? Will now be equals to n is now 16 divided by 2. Okay? Into bracket, my 2 times what is my a? My a is 7. Your first term cannot change. Okay, is 7. Okay, plus my hand is 16 minus 1 multiplied by a common difference is 25. 
multiply by 25 divide by 3 bracket close do you get it to that point what i've only done here is to substitute my follow your n has changed from 4 to 16 because i'm asked to find the 16th term okay that's why my hand is now 16. okay now from this list two year one two year eight okay so that shows i have the sum of my 16 term is equals to 8 into bracket 2 times 7 will be 14 plus 16 minus 1 will be 15. That will be 15 times 25 divided by 3. Okay? Bracket closed. I think something can go in this 3 year 1, 3 year 5. Alright? So from this, I know that my sum of 16 term equals to 8 into bracket 14 plus 5 times 25 will be 125. Okay? So my sum of my 16 term will be 8 times then 14 plus 125 will be 139. If you multiply 8 times 139, that should be 1114, if I'm correct. 8 times 125. Sorry, 8. 8. What am I pressing? 8 times 139, rather. That is 112. 1112. 1000. 1,102. And that will be the sum of, that will be the sum of the first 16th term. This will be the sum of the 16th term. You see? Now we have tried to use the second formula from another question. If you have found this class very helpful, kindly share to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and like the video. I'll see you in my next class. Thank you so much. Bye.